Hey guys, so this will be an exciting video. You'll finally learn how to use the keyboard keys to move the pedals. Let's run the game. Here is where we left off. We have the ball moving, we already drawn the pedals, now it's time for them to start moving. Well, let's go again to the assembly code. Let's create the procedure to move the pedals. So let's go up here. And in this section we are moving and drawing the ball. And for now only drawing the pedals. Right now they're static, so let's bring some movement. We can now create a procedure for that. We can follow the ball example. We first move and then draw the object. Let's call. And we can call it move pedals. And now let's create it down here below the move ball procedure. Don't forget the, the red command. And now let's write some pseudocode to organize our algorithm better. We need first to check if any key is being pressed and if not we don't do anything here so we'll just exit this procedure if any key is being pressed we continue and we need to check which key is check which key is being pressed and if it is W, lowercase W, we move up. And if it is the S key, we move down. Now, we better check for any keystroke on the capital letters too. Capital W and capital S. And we need to do all of this for the other pedal, with different keys, of course. For now, this is only for the left pedal, to the left pedal movement. If not, we just check the other pedal. We can copy now all this to implement the movement of the other pedal. This time will be the right pedal movement. And this time if a key is not being pressed we just exit the procedure. And for the right pedal I will use the O keys and the L keys. You can use anything you like. This is our pseudocode algorithm for the pedal's movement and we can start now the implementation. So let's begin by checking if any key is being pressed by the player. To check this let me bring Google Chrome. I've already opened this tab and the link will be in the description. Here you can see a page about the uh, in 16 an interruption that will let us access the keyboard BIOS services. With this, you can, for example, wait for a keystroke and read its value, or get the status of the keyboard. And this will be what we will be using to read a keystroke. So let's click it. And you can see that it needs the AH register to have 0, 1. 
and then we can check if ZF, the zero flag, is set. If it is, a key is being pressed. We can now incorporate this in our assembly program. Let me bring this here so we can see better. We first need to move to a H01, as you can see here. Let's go and move a H01. And then we just call the interruption 1, 6. Now, to check if a key is being pressed after calling the interruption, we check if the zero flag is set. And we can do this with JZ command or jump if zero, if the zero flag is set command. If the zero flag is set, we jump to check the right pedal movement. So basically, if the zero flag is set, then the JZ will be activated and we jump to the check right pedal movement. If we reach here, we know that a key was pressed. We just need to know which one was. So let's go back. And to read the character of the keystroke, we need the other one. This is used to wait for a key pressed and then read the character. We begin by moving to a H0 and then read the AL for the ASCII character. Let's implement this. First we move to a H0 and then call the interruption. I will add a little bit more information to the pseudo code just to know that after all this we will have on the AL register the ASCII character of the key being pressed. AL is equal to the ASCII character. Let's start by checking if it is the W key. So we compare the AL register with the ASCII code of the W key. So we can see which ASCII code corresponds to which key. I will bring an ASCII table. And you can see that to the capital, to the capital W corresponds 5, 7 in hexadecimal. And for the lower case W it is 7, 7. We can go now back to the code and let's see if AL has any of these hexadecimal values. 7, 7 for the lowercase w and if it is equal jump if equal so j e we move the left pedal up so let's call it move pedal left pedal up and now for the capital one we compare AL to 5 7 it's the capital W and again we move the left pedal up we can copy all this and do the same for the S keys. 
but this time to move the barrel down. Move left barrel down and here the same. The S or case and the capital S. Let's check now on the ASCII table the codes. 73 for the lower case and 53 for the capital one. So 73 and 53. If we reach this point and then didn't jump to move the pedal left up or down, the key pressed was not for this pedal, but can be for the other one. So we need to check it. Let's jump then to check the right pedal movement. We can now create the labels for the movement, move left pedal up. And here is very simple. After we're done here, we jump to check the right pedal movement. Because it can be that the W and O or L is being pressed at the same time. And to move the left pedal up, let me just maximize this, and we can create now the pedal velocities instead of just art coding the values. Pedal velocity. Let it be just uh, five, maybe, just for now. And here we just do. Barrel left Y. I'm sorry, uh, we need to move first to AX the, the pedal velocity first. So move AX the pedal velocity. And then it's very simple. We just add to the position, the I position uh, of the left pedal, the AX register. We can copy this now and do the same for the down movement. But instead, um, we just, instead of adding, we just um, subtract the velocity from the pedal. But we need to do this again for the right pedal. So we need to create the label that we previously mentioned for this movement. Check right pedal movement. For now, there's nothing. Let's, let's just test what we've done so far. Let's just run the game. It's working kind of, kind of but I'm staking the keys. <laughs> right now the W key moves down and the S key moves up. So let's switch it. Let's go back again to the code. And let's switch this. So sub here and have here and it should be fine. Let's test again. And it's working as expected. Amazing. <laughs> really amazing. It's moving up and down. Our movement code has a bug right now. We forgot to do something. Can you identify it? We're just moving very simply up and down. Let me let me show you what I mean. So let's run this again. So <laughs> if we move up, um, our pedal simply disappears and appears on strange positions. So let's go back to the code 
and after remove we need to check if it is a valid position and if it's not so if we move up we need to check if the y position of the pedal is greater than the window bounce if it's less we need to fix this and jump to a label called maybe I don't know if it's less jump less we jump to a label called fix pedal left top position can be <laughs> I guess it's a great name again the label will be very simple we just set the pedal Y position to be equal to the window bounds so move to pedal left Y what is in the register AX but we need first to move to AX the window bounds and again after this we'll check for movement on the right pedal we need to jump to the label check right pedal movement we do the same for the down movement but this time we need to compare with the height of the game window move to AX the window height then we need to subtract by the window bounds and finally subtract by the pedal height now we just need to compare the Y position with the AX, AX register I just forgot something uh, up here to move first the window bounce to the AX register if we didn't do this the compiler will give us an error we need first always to move the variable into a register here again we compare AX with a pedal left Y position let me just maybe switch this it's easier to understand if the Y position is greater if then we need to fix it like we've done it before so jump if greater to fix pedal left this time bottom position now let's uh, implement this label fix pedal left bottom position this time we set the pedal left y position to be equal to ax this register will have the position we just wrote and again after this we need to check for the right pedal now let's test again And now, as you can see, the pedal is completely stuck in between the game boundaries. It's perfect. I challenge you now to implement the code to move the right pedal. You can just copy and paste the code we've wrote for the left pedal, modify it and test it. It's fine. But try if you can to code on your own. Remembering all the things we programmed today. On the next video I will bring you a short video to implement this to the other pedal so you can check your code against mine. Good luck with this challenge and I see you on the next one.